Good afternoon, Brendan here, AKA The Gut Whisperer. And quick little video all about cancer and for anyone that is sick, anyone who has digestive issues, this is the same principle for everyone that I follow. And this video is actually prompted from watching a live earlier on this afternoon from my dear friend, Ivy Rose. I'll tag her in this video. She was doing a live. She's actually a professional colon hydrotherapist, also a holistic practitioner. She's a fellow Canadian friend of mine that's living in the southern parts of the States. And she was actually one of the speakers of my live event a couple years ago, Living Legends in Leadership. So she was talking about fasting. And I am a big advocate of fasting as well. And there's different types of fasting. And in this conversation, I want to talk about juice fasting. As you know, or maybe you don't know, I am also a big advocate of juice cleanses and detoxes and so forth. And I follow some of the principles that I've learned through my years of clinical practice and continuing education working on my doctorate's degree. One of the practitioners, one of the leaders that I learned from is Dr. Max Gershon. And Ivy was mentioning the same thing. So this clinic has been working with thousands and thousands of individuals with cancer, curing them. And uh, here in Canada and in the United States, there's only three ways to cure cancer. One is to remove it. The other one is to completely poison it. And the other one is to try to kill it. Hi, Raven. And uh, we know that those modalities aren't quite necessarily uh, successful and the success rate is quite low, unfortunately. Um, many of us are struck and affected by cancer. I lost my dad to cancer. But this right here follows principles on holistic modalities. And one of the things that I've learned from and one of the things that I use and this clinic uses as well is juice fasts. And they get their clients to consume sometimes up to 18 juices, cold pressed, fresh, raw vegetable juice every day. And they also incorporate coffee enemas and regular enemas. And when I work with individuals, I get them to complete a three or a four or a five day comprehensive juice cleanse and detox. And then also they finish that off with a colon hydro cleanse. And they even sometimes finish it off with a coffee enema. If you don't believe me, if you don't, under, if you don't believe how healing it is, I suggest read this book, The Gerson Therapy, The Proven Nutritional Program to Fight Cancer and Other Illnesses. So shout out to Ivy for talking about this today in her live uh, video, I resonate with this and it's really cool because even doesn't matter if you've got real successful and confident practitioners, we follow the same modalities, the same principles. And one of the main things that we need to do when we're working on someone's health is first and foremost, get rid of the toxins, allow that body to be in a healing state. And we can't quite heal ourselves when we're always being bombarded by toxins and environmental pollutants and so forth. So we need to get rid of and eliminate. And one of the things also that I didn't even talk about is bowels. And we need to eliminate bowels. And a lot of people are walking around and they haven't had healthy bowel movement in two, three, four, five days, sometimes a week. And sometimes those individuals who don't even have a regular bowel movement, they're struggling. And those bowel movements aren't even full and complete. And it's the bowel movement should be a pleasant and enjoyable experience, not harsh and hurting and unpleasant and taking a long, long time. And when you're in that position, your body is not able to eliminate properly. So that is why I incorporate a juice cleanse, full detox and a colon hydro cleanse because there's been some cases where people have lost up to 15 pounds of fecal matter in their large intestine after a successful detox and colon hydro cleanse. So again, if you want to learn more, if you want to take this into your own hands, I suggest reading this book, The Gerson Therapy. It's an amazing, it's one of the first books that I read. Very, very powerful. There's a book summary that I did there. And if that's too much, if you just want to take my word for it, you can. You can work with me one-on-one -on -one and I can incorporate a lot of these modalities and many, many others to help heal and seal your gut and fix your digestive issues. There you go. Talk